Hello world, and everyone who's curious about water, wants to know more about water, welcome back to the channel. So we've done some water testing videos in the past, usually involving about six different kinds of bottled water, testing their uh, TDS levels, um, total dissolved solids, which kind of is a great gauge for purity if you're not familiar with that. We've been using this TDS Easy detector. Today we're going to do something a little different, and uh, actually the future of all these videos are going to be a little bit different. But um, today we're going to be looking specifically at spring water, three bottles that are very uncommon. Um, we're going to actually do a taste test in this one to see if we can notice any differences. And uh, we're going to try and split these waters up by what they're classified as. So these three are classified as a spring water, where other, you know some other ones might be classified as an artesian water. Uh, this isn't to say that they're necessarily different, it's just we're going to go by what their label claims they are and try to make categories off those. So today we're bringing three waters uh, with the name Balance, Resource, it's a natural spring water is what they claim, and then this eternal spring water, the label's kind of uh, on the inside of the water bottle there. It's on the back side, but you know, it's printed on the other side of it. So. We're going to go ahead and we're going to test all three of these waters. We're going to do a little taste test as well. I've never had any of these waters. I've never seen any of these waters up until the point where we purchased them. That's why I grabbed them. Uh, maybe this will grab your attention. Maybe these are waters that you frequently drink. I don't know. I would guess uh, not because they're just pretty uncommon. Um, so anyway, without further ado, let's crack these open and um, start pouring them into our clean glasses. All the waters are at room temperature and... Uh, still sealed so we're gonna go ahead and pour a glass of all of these this one is super full right up to the rim got a little spillage there and we're gonna see how these three stack up against each other and we have the balance now a little background on these waters real quick before we get into it where they're bottled. Uh, Balance, if I'm not mistaken, it's bottled in three different locations. Um, Alpine Spring, Livingston Manor, New York, Baxter, California, and Palomar Mountain, California. Resource is balanced in Frontier Springs in Bangor, Pennsylvania, or Newmanstown, Pennsylvania. And our uh, eternal spring water is, let's see, this one is bottled in, hmm. Oh, Shasta Trinity Alps in California. So we have uh, Balance is ballad, or, uh, bottled in California as well as Eternal. This one's also bottled in New York. So we don't really know where this one came from, California or New, or New York. So let's go ahead and get our uh, detector fired up here and we'll test the waters first. Let's start with Eternal here on the end. And we're gonna dip this in, give it a little swirl. For those who haven't watched the previous videos, uh, we're really looking for something, um, you know, for bottled water, we're looking for something under 100. That's a really good range for bottled water. Anything under 50 is ideal, and anything under 10 is just uh, sublime, excellent water. So let's uh, take a look here. It's been in there long enough, swirled around long enough. We have a PPM level of 41. Pretty good, not bad at all. Very respectable. Uh, just for a comparison, I think box water is our lowest uh, at five. I have to go back and double check. We have a couple at five actually. Uh, five is very, very good, the best I've seen. And we've seen them as high as 250. That puts it into perspective. Of course, you're allowed to drink, um, you know, up to, I wouldn't recommend anything past 300 but uh, you're allowed to drink up to 500, so. All right, resource coming in at 102, 102 ppms, parts per million. Not bad, not the greatest we've seen, but definitely not the worst. And this last one, which I actually had high hopes for, balance coming in with our champion today at 20 ppms. Now, like I said, I haven't done this before in the other videos, so but we're going to do a little taste test, starting with the Eternal Water. Okay. This says natural, uh, naturally alkaline. 
coming from experience, I can say the alkaline taste is very strong. Um, wow. That really stands out. Prevalent as soon as it hits your mouth, you can taste the alkaline. Um, this one, the resource, says it has natural electrolytes for flavor. doesn't say anything about alkaline. Let's give that one a shot. Okay. Clear difference um, between the two. I would prefer the resource. It's got a crisp, clean feel. The alkaline is not my favorite flavor, but that's your thing. It might be something you really like. And on to the balance, which this one claims to have um, flower essence in it from Australia. In fact, if you wanted to know, bush fuchsia, croea, shea oak, and baronia. I don't know if I'm pronouncing all those right. Okay. That well. I can taste something. Um <laughs> I don't know if it's sweet it's not sweet. It's good. It's very good. Crisp and clean like the resource. Um but there's just a very very subtle slight hint of something that kicks in after you've had it. it feels very clean refreshing uh, out of my three I have to say balance is my favorite um, I'm not sure where you'll be able to find this close closest to you but I would recommend it it's got a low ppm rate or a low ppm of 20 that's really high on our scale and uh, the water tastes very clean mm. very good so all in all guys um, balance takes the win and uh, our eternal spring water takes second place resource takes third all very good waters they're all claimed to be spring waters um so yeah there you have it this one will uh go in the archive with the other videos and i will see you guys in the next water testing video